Thomas and friends, making tracks to great destinations. Hello, everybody! It's your friendly neighborhood GB. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we are going to be talking about a Thomas model that I reviewed before, but I'm going to make its own uh, separate model review video, and this is that video. So, I'm going to be reviewing the Thomas model from Diapet. Now, if you guys don't know what the Diapet Thomas model is, it's basically a Japanese-based model series from the company Diapet, which is used to making more realistic uh, train models, but their uh, Thomas line is my favorite one out of all of them. Also, as you can see on the little picture I have here, he would have his uh, little couplers here, but I took them off because they were uh, they didn't look in place for what the Thomas model I wanted it to look like. And the back lining infuriates me. But I do like the model for what it is, and I do like how the model looks. So let's get into it, shall we? Now taking a look at the model, you can see that it does look accurately like the CGI Thomas, except with a few minor tweaks. Mainly the fact that the connectors that connect the side rods to the wheels are actually metal and not painted blue like they are in the show. But I could excuse that because of the fact that, you know, they're meant to be connectors to the wheels and not meant to be painted. I also like the little detail that they added like a little underside similar to how like an undershot is for the uh, Soda's Legend of the Lost Treasure special. I also like the face that they did for the model. The only complaint that I have is the missing back lining because in the show Thomas has back lining. I think. Or at least in the TVS models. But right here, no. Other than that, they got pretty much everything else right. They got like the white running board, they got the the running board that's dipped. They also have the uh, number one on the side, which looks flawless. And another detail, um, the little, usually in these type of models, they're blacked out. But in this one, it's not blacked out. It's unlike the Bachman model, which has this blacked out. But the lining, the dome, the boiler stripes, the whistle, even down to the little other details, including like the coal bunker, they're all perfect. I don't have one single complaint about the model other than the fact that it had like clunky uh, looking coupling rods or couplings. Uh, that, yeah. But other than that, this model is pretty flawless. And that's pretty much it for today's video. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel with Home Lawns Camera Quality Content. Be sure to tap that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video comes out. Till then, see you all next time. Bye bye.